wish I didn't have to wear these uh, ridiculous ear jobbies, but I do. I feel so sick right now. I just want to share my big mistake with everybody because I feel absolutely. Do I look sick? I'm sick. I swear to you, I'm sick. So, my uh, parents wanted to take a vacation. So, uh, my grandmother lives with my mom and dad because she has uh, Alzheimer's. And so, um, I'm, wa I'm watching Grandma uh, to the best of my ability while they're gone. And um, so, t today, we, we have a day nurse. While I go to work, um, the day nurse watches her and makes sure everything is okay and she gets her medication and that sort of stuff. And... Um, the only thing is, I have to drive her home because she can't drive. So, I'm hungry, right? And I'm thinking, oh, I barely got anything in for lunch, and, and I'm hungry. And, you know, the hard thing about being uh, a gastric bypass person, at my stage out anyways, I don't know about anybody else, but, you know, fast food just really isn't an option, but that's what it is. Fast food, you know, you, you can't pull in anywhere else, you know, and, and the salads are kind of hard to eat on the road. Well, I used to be a huge, no pun intended, Chick-fil-A fan. Well, we don't have any Chick-fil-A's in Palm City. But about a month ago, I'm driving down the road just minding my own business. Now, mind you, I've gone years without a Chick-fil-A here. And what do I see? Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Thank you, Chick-fil-A, for coming here after I had my weight loss surgery. So, this evil, evil voice entered into my head and lied to me. It was like, you can have Chick-fil-A. You can have the chicken nuggets. They're perfectly fine to have. It's chicken. Yeah, it's fried chicken. But anyway, so I decide first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A. I'm going to ask for a little nutrition chart. Because you know how I'm like all into the calories and stuff and don't want to exceed my calories for the day. So I look at it, and for the kids' chicken nuggets, that's four pieces, it was 130 calories. I'm like, well, that's not bad. You know, 130 calories. I'll get my protein in, chicken. I'll treat myself. But you know what used to be really good at Chick-fil-A? Those wedge fries. But I can't have fries. I haven't had them. No, well, I... I've taken like a bite of a french fry off somebody's plate. Uh, I've done that to my fiancé whenever he gets it. I'm like, I just want one bite. And then sometimes I'm like, okay, just two bites and that's it. And no more. <laughs> Which is why I love going out to eat with him. Because I get to like nibble off his plate. But I haven't like eaten any fast food fries or whatever. So I'm like, I'm not even going to even go there or think about it. So I'm good, right? I order the kids four-piece nuggets, and I leave. They're like, you sure you don't want to drink? No, I don't want to drink. I leave. So I'm in the car uh, with Molly, the dog. And by the way, I did share a chicken nugget with her, so I only had three nuggets. Um, guess what's in my bag? I swear to you guys, I did not order the wedge fries. And there's a small order of wedge fries in my bag. Now, how come that didn't ever happen to me before? That's all I want to know. Evilness was upon me. I was like, okay, I did not order these wedge fries. And they are so tempting now that they're in my bag, in my car. I'm driving down the road, and I see them. And I don't like the crunchy, 
me, I'm the soft kind. Like, I like the chewy, soft cookies. I like the chewy, soft french fries. And I'm looking at it, and it looks pretty nice. I'm like, oh my gosh, why? Why? And I'm telling myself, okay, give it to the dog. If you give it to the dog, you don't have to worry about eating it, right? Molly didn't like the wedge fries. She went, and there they went on the floor. I'm like, so, did I eat a wedge fry? That's the question. Yes, I did. I ate two of them. You know, the wedge fries, the two of them is probably why I couldn't even get in my four chicken nuggets. All of a sudden, this rumble was like, <laughs> came up out of nowhere and I'm like oh gosh that doesn't feel good I, and now I'm feeling sick and now I'm getting the like the eater's remorse be like why did I have that wedge fry was it necessary is my tummy enjoying this right now no it felt so disgusting so disgusting. And can I just add for the record, Chick-fil-A does not taste anything like it did in my mind. Because in my mind, it was the yummiest meal there was. And can I just tell you, the whole thing was garbage. Not only did the nuggets taste bull, like, mind you, I haven't had it probably in five years. But the way I remember it was not the way it tasted today. And boy, am I glad. Because I think I can go another five years without Chick-fil-A. So yeah, I my heart started going... Which, to any of you who don't know this feeling yet, if you're new and you just had this surgery, you will experience what I'm saying. It is the devil, it is evil, and it will make you fall to your knees. Your heart rate just like goes up and then this like saliva rushes to your mouth and it is just like this uh, feeling. Now I didn't get it really bad. I just, it, it, it just barely let me know it was there. Had I have eaten one more bite of that wedge fry, I would have puked. I would have had to pull over and go through the whole dumping thing you know, laying down, can't, like, breathe, terrible, don't do it, don't have any witch fries, and don't go to Chick-fil-A, you No, know? listen to the bad voices in your head, because they're evil, 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 and whoever you are, I know you're out there, and I know you're listening to me, you work at the Chick-fil-A down the road, I don't like you very much, you put those witch fries in there on purpose, you know why? Because you knew I would eat them? <sighs>